What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today we are talking about the top 10 crazy blender techniques coming out from the community. That's right, we're gonna be diving into the best of the best works ranging from photorealistic renders, 3D modeling, and impressive use cases of the tools built right into Blender. Blender is one of the dopest and most powerful 3D softwares to come out and guess what? It is absolutely for free, yet it would not be nearly as dope if it wasn't thanks to the creators on this list. So today we're gonna be diving right into their works, breaking down their process, and seeing how we can incorporate some of these techniques into works of our own. If this is your first time here on the channel, we talk about a whole bunch of super dope motion design, 3D animation, VFX techniques. So make sure you guys go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned. Also, if you guys have already hit subscribe, I want to send a huge thank you because you guys are helping us get that much closer to our goal of 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So, mad props to y'all. Thanks for keeping this community alive. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, the creators and techniques on this list are in no way in order of importance. They're just too dope to compare like that. But the final three are absolutely the sickest, most mind blowing stuff I've seen this past month. So make sure you guys go ahead, stick around until the very end so you don't miss out on that one. Anyways, I got the list, let's just hop right in. First up on the list at number 10, here we have from user RKSykia797, this really awesome animation that was made for the moving meditations challenge. What I really love about this animation is the use of those cloth simulations and just the overall great environment, great world building with those super clean reflections on the ground that really adds that physicality to the scene. He also takes this a step further by adding in the slow motion rain. And then to really bring this world to life, he has an umbrella bot just hovering around this character. I think this is super sick and I love your work a lot. Hope to see more RK Psykea 797. Number nine on the list. Okay, here we have from Art of Osprey, this amazing looking hand rig, which is just freaking mind blowing to imagine that he made this in Blender, rigged it all up and the cherry on top, he gives it away to us for free so we can all get to use this in projects of our own. Now at first glance, this looks super impressive, just the fluidity of this hand motion and this coin flicking up and down the fingers but then he takes us another step further by actually showing us underneath the hood we get to see all the awesome robotics and animation that he put into this it's just super sick looking and how mechanical and yet fluid it comes out and all of it seems to have this sense of logic to it so i really love this work a lot and i hope to see more here we have at number eight yo okay this render freaking blew my mind this one is from a user the gas can and he says this is just him practicing making interior art visits and i think you definitely hit the nail on the head when you came up with this render. If you guys take a look at the behind the scenes, the actual clay render of this, you can just see how much detail and care was put into this render from the models themselves to the actual setting up of the lights. And then finally, that use of materials to really bring this to life. I love the use of the vegetation, the design of this all. I think this is a really, really impressive looking work. When I saw this at first, I thought I was looking at some sort of photo of this really fancy looking interior, but I'm even more mind blown to see that that this was just created using Blender. Anyways, I love your work a lot, The Gas Can, and I hope to see more. Next up at number seven, here we have one from Anurag Raturi, and I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm butchering it, so apologies for that, but I am not sorry for the fact that you came up with this super sick and amazing geometry node setup, and you actually show us how powerful we can take it. For those of you who have not messed around with Blender 3.4 Alpha, you may not even know that there is a shortest path node, but Anurag Raturi shows us that you can actually use this node to create some interesting setups from something that looks like this, which is an amazing looking render to even a really practical use case of using it for things like lightning effect. I think this is really awesome and I hope to see more of your work. If you guys are enjoying these creators and want to show support for this series, make sure that you hit that like button. It does a tremendous amount. Number six on the list. Okay, next up here we have from Dr. Madness, this awesome mini world with this liquid simulation on top of it. And it's just mind 
going to see how you're able to create these dynamic forces that mimic the lunar tides. If you guys are curious how he got this fluid simulation looking so clean and so realistic, he's actually using the free blender add-on called Flip Fluids. If you guys have never messed around with it, I highly recommend because it's super, super powerful. To create this animation, the bake time was 12 hours for that simulation, and then it took 12 more hours of rendering this inside of Cycles. And if you're curious how he even was able to get these tides and this animation and the liquids moving, you pretty much just turn off the scene gravity, made the world sphere itself with an attractive force, and then he created some attractive forces underneath the moon, which allowed him to then drag the liquid all across the scene and create these amazing looking waves. I love the way you work, Dr. Madness. Keep it up. All right, on to the next one. All right, we're halfway there at number five. Here we have a couple renders from Hyphen 3D who created this for a scrapped client work project. So unfortunately, the client did not go through with this concept, but it definitely deserves to get shown because I think this is amazing and how you're able to bring these different scenes to life and keep that motion consistent with the subtle use of camera movement. I think this looks like a trailer for an awesome film and I'm super impressed with the world building that you did for this and the use of great compositions to really draw us in. This is an awesome and impressive use of Blender and I hope to see more of your work. Here we have at number four from user Sagato aka Alex Martinelli and he creates this amazing procedural crystals using geometry nodes. Now if you guys are curious even the materials are procedural so that means you can pretty much make an infinite number of different looking crystals that look super super awesome. Now I don't know when I'm going to be using crystals in my next project but I am super glad that Alex Martinelli actually gives us a free project file so we can go ahead and play with this on our own. Now Alex Martinelli was inspired by Arvid Schneider who mainly works in Houdini and created a pretty similar looking setup which allows you to create all these amazing looking crystals. However I'm really glad that Alex Martinelli took the step further to actually create something for us Blender users and gave it away for free so we can mess around with these projects of our own. I love your work a lot Alex and I hope to see more. Ooh, things are really heating up. We're down to the final three at number three on the list. Okay, here we have from user RoboSpunk, AKA Joey Carlino, and he creates this amazing use of geometry nodes to create this cobweb generator. So this cobweb generator looks super awesome and it was actually made for his Scribble Gen add-on for Blender, which you can find for about $10 on Gumroad. However, what's really cool for us who wanna save some money, Joey Carlino actually shows us the tutorial so you can learn the ins and outs of how this was actually made and just make it for yourself. I love the fact that you made this, created a tutorial and also created something for those who are also super lazy and just wanna get using this right away. <laughs> so love your work a lot, Joey Carlino, and I hope to see more. Here we have at number two from Dane Wynn, also known as Dane Wynn Animation on Instagram. And he creates this really cute sci-fi robo animation. This was originally made for the earlier Clinton Jones Infinite Journeys Challenge for the Blender community. And and I love the way that Dane Wynn actually shows the breakdown of his process from modeling, blocking out the animation, adding spline motions, and then even creating those buildings to create this awesome looking scene. And I loved it a lot. Hope you keep on creating and killing it. All right, on to the next one. And last, but most definitely not least, at number one, yo, okay, these renders are freaking mind blowing. These are created by at Sweeper3D on Instagram. And if you guys are curious, how does he make such detailed and amazing looking models? that look almost either photorealistic or just on a whole nother level when it comes to their fantasy creations. He's actually using a combination of kit bashing elements and hand modeling certain sections piece by piece in a super meticulous manner to where he's really just working on really small sections and then building them out. I love the way that you have these great compositions, great use of lighting, and your post-processing in Photoshop is just super killer. I love this so much and I hope to see more of your work. So those are some of the dopest and most inspiring creators and techniques I've seen recently, but I'm sure there are so many more that I just didn't even get to check out. So I want you guys to go ahead, leave a comment down below and let us know who else we should definitely keep on the radar. I'm also curious what on this list has been the most useful, inspiring or helpful for those who are getting into Blender. I'm sure I'm gonna love reading it and others in the community will as well too. If you're curious to check out even more dope creators just pushing Blender to its absolute limits, I recommend you check out out this video there are just so many awesome techniques and blender creators packed right into this one so anyways go ahead check that video out i guarantee you guys are gonna like it anyways thanks for watching and i hope to catch you all on the next one peace